Hello, hello. Anyone there? Hi guys, anyone there? I'm just showing you some fruits and veggies. How are you guys doing today? Just want to show you my weekly grocery haul. Here they go. Back to my fruits and veggies for the week. Okay, I'm going to show you me now because I have the older camera, so. Hi. How are you guys doing? I want to show you my weekly grocery haul. Can you see me? <laughs> Face is big in front of the camera. All right. Thank you guys for joining in. Not good? What happened? It's going to be good, all right? Hello. Guys, yeah, um, I just want to show you my um, weekly grocery haul. Uh, beautiful fruits. Which one is the one they like the most? I like the Duran. Duran. The Duran comes from Asia and it's filled with vitamin, um, vitamin B complex. But I also like <laughs> uh, the persimmon. So that's the thing. The persimmon is my favorite, and the Duran. And which other one? A uh, pomegranate. I only have one pomegranate today. And I also love coconuts. All of them are my favorite. I can't pick a favorite. Help. I cannot pick a favorite. But I thank you for joining in. I just want to show you what I'm doing for the week here. Uh, the, actually, I'm set up for next week's grocery haul. And these are pineapples. I know I got a bunch of pineapples. I clean out the store. Tomatoes. Hot peppers. Because you must have peppers in your meal. It's good for circulation and apples and this is what my table look like so it's going to be a quick video to show you that uh you can eat lt we went to the store today and we did not buy any meat and this is moringa so there it is that is protein for people ask oh where do the vegans get their protein from we get it from the bushes like we eat or drink moringa if anyone knows what this is, some countries they call it broomstick. So I know, um, I'm just doing a quick video to show you what my grocery look like for the week. And I did not buy any meat and these are Thai coconuts. I use those every week. And I only buy them in the winter time because in the summertime they're kind of rancid from the heat. So um, this is what my table looks like. Um, but the Duran. It's going to be my dinner tonight. This is dinner. So while most people are having a piece of steak or chicken or burgers or so, I'm having Duran for um, my dinner. Hope it don't keep me up all night. But I just want to teach you guys, uh, I'll actually tell you guys, uh, if I can teach you, if you allow me to teach you, that you can eat all of these fruits and veggies and feel full just like regular people that eat meat. And you can mix juices and you can eat, eat, eat until you're full. Eat whenever you're hungry. Don't eat on a schedule. Just eat. And um, I am happy 30. Oh, okay. So um, just eat, 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 eat. And uh, there goes fruits and veggies. But the favorite is my Duran. I'm, I'm, I'm emphasizing on that. And um, I'm emphasizing on my persimmon. I can eat 6 to 12 every day uh, might be a little bit greedy but and I have grapefruits okay so grapefruits are in season now and they're from Florida so you can get grapefruits and tangerine and orange and lemon and put them together and juice them and drink it and you will get rid of cellulite and you can get rid of mucus oh this is Duran Duran 
Yeah, right here. It's filled with vitamin B, B complex. All the B vitamins are in Duran. I know it looks kind of like an ugly fruit, but it's Duran. And you get that from the Asian market. And it has a funny smell to it. I think uh, no one likes it but me. But uh, that's a treat because that, that's about $9 for it. And I haven't bought any Duran since the beginning of this year. So it's a little treat for me. I have fresh turmeric. Coconuts, apples are in season, a merengue is always in season. What else is in season? Um, okay, so we're back to the Duran, we're back to the persimmon. So the persimmon, make sure when you see these, you buy them in the store because the persimmon has a good vi vitamin B complex. People who live in Israel and California, they get the good persimmon. If you want to get energy, make sure you go ahead and get eat persimmon. Because my gosh, if I wish I lived in a country that had persimmon only. Just one country that does nothing but persimmon. And I just eat persimmon 24-7. That's how much I'm in love with them. And then we have the Duran, and this is filled with vitamin B complex. We have the cucumbers, we have the turmeric, that's fresh turmeric. That's very good for inflammation, people who have a lot of back pain. You can get rid of the back pain by using fresh turmeric. So don't buy the one that's in the store that's already powdered out. If that's all you can get, it's okay, but if you can have access to fresh turmeric, go ahead. Now, this is moringa. They call it broomstick in some countries. It's called, in the Indian countries, it's called broomstick. And um, I have grapefruit. I have pomegranate. Coconuts, good for hydration. You want to use those and drink them every morning for hydration or any time of the day before nightfall. It's up to you. I have fresh basil. I'm growing my own basil, but it's gone for the season, so I have to buy those. I have bananas, tangerine, zucchini, ginger. Ginger is one of my favorite, and sweet potatoes are in the back. Because my husband eats sweet potato. I have Vidalia onions. That's sweet onions. And I have also have yellow onions. Now the ginger. You could mix the ginger, the pineapple, and the turmeric together. With a little bit of cucumbers. And it takes away the inflammation. So for all the people that have big shoulders. And uh, large bellies and stuff. You can use the uh, ginger to help you to reduce some of the inflammation. If you're like top heavy, I used to be top heavy and I didn't know why, but now I know that it was a lot of inflammation up top. I have chili peppers. You, uh, those are good for inflammation too. And they um, help with circulation. I have albanero peppers. Garlic is good for blood pressure too. And um, fruits, ap apples. Here goes some apples here. And I have, uh, what else I have here? Uh, pineapples. So if you have any questions, you can ask. I won't be long tonight. It's going to be a quick video. But I just want to uh, show you what I'm doing for the week, how I'm set up for next week. And uh, the reason why I'm set up like this is because I don't eat meat. I haven't had meat in almost two years. December 1st will be exactly two years that I have not tasted any meat. And I don't intend to eat any meat because the meat makes you rancid and it's not good for your joints. And you, you, the way they're doing the meat, your stomach is not able to digest the meat. So this is how I function 24 7 for almost two years. And you have to be disciplined enough to know that the meat is going to make you sick. And it's not the way like when we used to grow up and the chickens were in the yard. They don't do that anymore. Everything is a quick fix, and if you get quick meat, you're going to have quick disease. So I just want to show you what my table looks like, and there it is. If you could see the whole thing. That's how I set up my household. And uh, it takes discipline. It didn't just happen overnight. A lot of fighting, of, of saying, wow, I want to taste meat. I want pizza. I want bread. I haven't had bread in two years. 
No, actually, almost two and a half years, no bread, no flour, no rice. I think I had black rice once, but uh, those type of stuff, no butter. I haven't had butter in about three years, two, 2015, so no butter. All I do is eat fruits and veggies, so if I can do it, you can do it because uh, you can get strength from God, and God will give you strength to heal your body. Each food is good for preventing constipation. All right, so let me see here. Bananas are good for constipation. Uh, apples are good. You have to develop a taste for them. So you have to peel them, though. Make sure that you peel all your fruits and veggies if you're in the U.S. because they have wax on them. So don't just take up an apple and eat it because if you take up an apple and eat it, What's going to happen is that uh, the wax that they use to prevent the bugs from eating it is going to give you constipation. Like, for instance, the cucumbers, they're very good for you too, but they have wax on them. So you got to um, make sure that you peel them. The persimmon is good. Uh, grapefruits are good for constipation. You, if you peel a grapefruit and eat it, or if you juice it, make sure you get the pulp and eat it. What else I have here? Um, kale is good for constipation. I know you ask for fruits, but I include veggies. You can have tomatoes too. Good for constipation. And um, if you're too constipated, that means you're not you're you're eating too much processed food or too much cooked food that has a lot of salt in it. So that's gonna pull out all the water that needs to send everything. So that's why I stay raw. Because if you stay raw, then you eat less salt and all of these fruits and veggies will go through your body very easily. But if you're going to cook, you would have to put a lot of fiber like beans and kales and a lot of crazy stuff that you don't even want in your food in order to uh, make it taste good and then you end up being constipated. So I stay raw by eating a lot of tangerines that are in season or whatever is in season, pomegranate. So all the fruits can uh, help you, but like I stressed enough that the cucumbers has to be peeled and um, mangoes are good, but they're not in season. That would prevent constipation big time. Uh, what else can pre prevent it? I know bananas, if you eat bananas before you get, go to bed at night, that will. And if you're really, really constipated, you might need some probiotics to help you break up the food. I can't stress enough that you can get probiotics from Pure Dime, probiotics on amazon.com and it's p-u-r-a-d-y-m-e pyridime and that has enzymes in it so it'll help break up the food and you can eat a salad i uh, don't really recommend salad that much but you can eat moringa leaves too they call it drumsticks in some countries so um and the persimmon if you eat six of these these will send you to the bathroom <laughs> So I used to have a constipation problem, but I don't anymore because most of my food, as you could see, is all hydration. And I drink alkaline water only. I don't drink that water that's been sitting on the shelf and that gives you a little belly ache when you drink it and you can only drink one bottle. I drink nothing but alkaline water, fresh alkaline water every day. So that kind of eased my constipation because I used to be backed up. And you're supposed to move your bowels three to five times per day. So far, I can get three. If I get three, I'm happy. And if uh, I can do five if I'm not sitting down a lot. But when I, if I walk around a lot, I can get five bowel movements per day from eating all these fruits. So I want to sign out and I want to thank you guys for um, joining in. It's just a quick video. And don't forget to add coconuts to your diet. I didn't get the brown coconuts this week as yet. So as soon as I get the brown coconuts, I'll show you. How you can add those to your diet and uh, not diet lifestyle because we're not dying and you'll get a lot of energy from these coconuts but in the meantime if you can't find the brown coconuts and you're going to sprout Publix everywhere Kroger's everybody's carrying these coconuts and they're Thai coconuts good for hydration okay so um, thanks for joining in and uh, don't forget to add turmeric for inflammation and because uh, the winter is coming and you don't want to get that flu shot. Please do not get that flu shot. If you stop eating meat, then you won't have to get flu shots. I promise you, I'm living proof. And uh, eat Duran. Eat, eat, eat. Do not watch any calories. Just eat as much as... Eat when you're hungry. You don't have to eat on the clock. If you're at work, I know sometimes they let you eat. But you can just eat foods at your desk all day or wherever you are. If you get a chance, just eat, eat, eat. 
and don't watch any calories. Don't let society tell you you have to watch any calories. God provi provide all these foods for you to eat. Um, the only time you're going to watch calories is when you're eating Doritos. And um, let me see one second. We, we have some in Africa here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Beautiful. All the way from Africa. Thank you for joining in. And uh, don't forget your peppers. That's good for circulation. Oh, if you want to go to the bathroom, that will speed up your digestion. <laughs> <laughs> I've experienced um, eating peppers and you know what comes out at the end so uh, there it is so ginger don't forget ginger all the time have ginger in everything even you could buy the eat a little piece of ginger it settles your stomach and um, uh, citrus are in season now you have grapefruits lemons tangerine mandarin every type of rain you could find Eat a lot of citrus now so you don't have to get the flu shot. So God knows what he's doing. He provide the fruits in the season that you needed to prevent you from being sick. And this look like it's a lot of money, but people are paying $800 a month for medication. Or a girl said she was paying $16,000 per month for cancer medication. But you could take that $16,000 and open a farm, a little farm, and you can plant some stuff in some little pots. If, and you can um, get your own fruits and veggies or you can use that $16,000 and buy some organic fruits. So don't give them $16,000 US dollars a month for any type of medication because you can be healed by fruits and veggies. And I'm living proof. As you can see, my before and after pictures, I've been doing it for two years and I eat no meat and I survive. And uh, this is what I'm doing. So I want to sign out. Um, let me see. Okay. I'm going to show you my face again. Hopefully you can see my face. There I am. Can you see me? The lady with a lot of fruits and veggies. There I am. So I'm in my work clothes. I just came from work. Should be looking down, I guess. I, I, I'm not a camera person, so I don't know how to work this. And this is an older iPad. So as soon as I get everything on my phone, I can let you guys see me much better. But um, this is what's going on in the household. So I thank to, thanks to everyone that joined in and uh, we give God thanks for each and every one of you. Okay, invite you when we're teaching. Okay, Danielle, I will definitely I and stay away from that meat. I know it tastes good. <laughs> I used to be, uh, I'm, from, I'm from Jamaica originally, so I know about oxtails and rice and beans and all coconut rice. I know everything about rice, 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 and I know about everything that makes you sick, but it tastes so good. But as you start eating these things, your taste bud will adjust to it. And that's all you will want to eat after a while. It takes a little while. It's not an overnight process because we didn't get there overnight. But we grew up eating all these bags of chips and biscuits and milk and all that stuff that is clogging up our system and giving us acne. And eventually, even if you're young now and it's not affecting you, it's going to affect you. So you have got to change what you're eating and if you have a chance to grow your own chicken in the yard without giving them any poison feeding, maybe you could get away with eating chicken. Or if you have goats that grow up in the yard that eats only and don't get any shots. But if you're going to have chicken and cows that are getting shots and then you're eating it, then the shots are being transferred to you and then you're just going to get sick. So good night, Danielle and uh, Carolyn Adams just joined in. I just want to show you one more time. So this is what I eat for the week. And this is for three people, and this will be gone by <laughs> four or five days. <laughs> it will be gone. So this is what I eat. Here it is, tomatoes, everything. I, I don't have good lighting, so I try to do it. Uh, night comes so quickly these days, but I'll try my best to show you. Just eat tomatoes whenever you're hungry. Have a tomato for snack. And, and you start adjusting your taste buds to all this stuff. So, um... Just eat whatever you feel like eating as long as it's not meat and it's not Doritos and processed chips and biscuits and sweets and candies. Stay away from that. The people that makes it do not eat it. So it would be best for you not to eat it either. They will give it to you to make a bag of money off you. But when they go home, you don't catch them eating that stuff. So you don't give them the chance to poison you anymore. So stay away from it. Get your joints back. Get your hair back. Get your lashes back. Get your happy back. Um, to come out of depression. All this food is good for depression. It will take you out of depression. And um, 
get yourself back and um get get rid of most of the most important thing get rid of all that inflammation that you're walking around with because everybody is so inflamed now and the body talks to you it gives you big stomach and tell you that hey you're inflaming me too much and your joints start cracking and hurting and all that stuff i could go on and on but i just want to uh, touch back base and let you see so this is what it looks like the lighting is kind of bad so please forgive me but a week's worth of food no meat and I just want to say, love you guys. Thank you guys for joining in. It's 12 a.m. here. Oh, okay, 12.10. So I might have to come on a little earlier, Danielle. Okay, so that's so many hours. And it's, it's 7 p.m. here in the U.S. So I'll have to figure out a time for you. I'm glad that you're telling me. And if it's 12 a.m., I'll try to come on a little bit earlier by 10 p.m. your time. Or I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out at some point so you'll be able to join into the live show. And I thank you guys for joining in. God bless you. Take care of your temple. Your body is a temple of God. You must take care of it. Love everyone. Love, love, love. And cheers to good health. And be good to yourself and be good to others. Speak well of others. And um, others will respect you. And if even they don't respect you, you respect them. Because that's what it, that love makes the world go around. So take care. Bye.